All right, so to begin, go to the author mode, and under week one, go to week contents, and add a placeholder for content. Call it something like week one discussion and call it a threaded discussion content manager. Content manager is the key because it allows for content to be uploaded, put it into week two, assign it to all class, let's hide it from all students for the most for now. And we'll add. And there it is, week one discussion. We go back into the course mode, and you'll notice the asterisk there, which means it's not available for anybody, and then we'll click on it. There it is. Now to add information to it, back to the author mode. Author of the content. And here's where you will create new content. Here's a bunch of information you need to fill out, so the Asterix here you must select, so call it something like week one or um, the topic of week one discussion. You can edit this later, so it's just for now. Let's just call it, I just always use default that. It's thinking. Let's see, it's hidden to students here. Now, once you have that, you need to you can edit the intro. What I always use it for. Again, I'll be able to edit this later. Let's save those changes. There, you want to publish. Now that it's there, publish it to the location. Now it should be there. So we'll go back to the course mode and go to the week discussion. There it is, here's your intro text. And here are threads, nothing's there yet. For the content. So here, go back here to start a new draft. Keep the same. You have to add a topic. So adding topic, here now is the actual discussion thread topic. Add any notes we want here. And we'll add that as a topic. Now we're back to there. Here it is. So the actual discussion topic is edited, delete it. And now let's publish that. Remember, you publish it to selected locations. Now, if you go to course mode, you'll 
see the discussion. There is now you have that response ability, so students can respond to stuff here. The beauty of all this is when you go to Gradebook and you go to set up Gradebook and you add new Gradebook items, you'll see it's there within discussion as a topic point. So that's something that you actually can add to your Gradebook automatically. I won't say the word next because then you can change all that down the road. I uh, hope that was clear. I will try to do another discussion in week two just to go through that one with you as well. Thanks.